It's right around 7 p.m. on Sunday, January 15th, and I have been putting forth a theory over the last seven or eight years that people keep entering into my unit of residence, this unit right here, um, using keyless entry methods so they're not violently breaking down the door or smashing the doorknob. They are picking the lock. And they manage to get in here on a regular basis. This isn't just like a one-time thing or it only happened a few times. And they place surveillance devices in unusual places where they are able to see things that I do or, or say or engage in that gets them off. To put it you know, bluntly, they get off on watching what I do in certain parts of my apartment. And I've been putting forth this theory, not only just based on my own personal experience, but based on what other people who live in this building complex, who I don't know and I don't interact with, I have absolutely no interest whatsoever in having anything to do with the people who live in this building complex because about 99.999% of them have some severe behavioral problems that make them kind of unpleasant to deal with. Let's put it that way. It has nothing to do with their religion or where they come from or anything like that. It's their behavior and their behavior is extremely dysregulated. Pretty much all of them have some kind of behavioral issue that causes them to be placed in this building complex. Um, when I moved into this building in 2011, it was a pretty normal place. The, the residential population was mixed. Um, there were some students, there were some working um, professionals, I mean, not many, but a few. And then there were some people who had been in and out of prison and didn't work because of mental health issues. But now it's pretty much everybody across the board who lives in this building complex with possible exception of a few people live here because they have some severe mental health issues. So they have been, I'm one of the few females who lives here and the only white female. Um, that needs to be said because when you don't fit in, people target you. It, it has something to do with just them not being comfortable with the fact that you're just different. That's it. So even though you know, when I lived in North Cambridge, for instance, I was not a minority. I am a definite minority in this building complex. And over the last seven days, I have left this this building, you know, pretty much every day, except for two or three days in a row this past week. And people keep getting in here. Um, things have been moved around. I made a video two days ago about how an item I had placed in front of my door to kind of block it was moved 18 inches out of the way. That's almost two feet and whoever moved it while I was out didn't even try to put it back where it was. So I that's the first thing I noticed when I got home. And the lock of my door is actually, it has been damaged. Like I can't put my key in it. It's really hard to put my key in that lock because obviously it has been damaged by people picking it. So I've had to get an additional uh, lock to put on top of that one. And they seem to be able to access that as well. Um, it's a combination lock. So I guess combination locks you can actually guess where the numbers are by pulling the, there's a way of doing it. And these people are so talented in the criminal arts that, you know, it doesn't put it, it's possible that they're able to pick locks. Let's put it that way. So yesterday I had to go buy all brand new sheets and curtains and coverings to cover up parts of this unit where I get aggressively harassed by the neighbors and the surrounding units every single time I do something that's personal or private, such as my toilet such as my shower stall. Every single time I try to use my toilet, I get aggressively harassed by the psychopath who lives directly on the other side of that wall in the bathroom of 78. She is a sex offending, um, malignant psychopath who is also a cyber criminal. And she, surveil she specializes in surveillance, it seems. Um, this has been going on for years and years. But anyway, back to my theory. I tested this theory today and I pulled down all of the wall, all of the wall coverings I had hung up a few days ago, because again, it was pretty clear to me that people had been getting in here. They also put just two days ago, I noticed that this lovely vitamin container that had gone missing from this unit six weeks ago, right before Christmas, somebody took it out. I had put it right here and was saving it for later. I was using it to store other stuff. It went missing. I couldn't find it. So I bought this brand new container of vitamins. It's full. As you can see, it's brand new, full of vitamins because this one had gone missing. And I had put this one in the place of this one because this one was no longer there. And yesterday or two days ago, it was Saturday. Yeah. I found this 
placed right here. Somebody had put it back while I was out. <laughs> so that's, um, you know, th there's my theory right there. So I have this theory. People keep getting in here using keyless entry methods. And um, they do because they take things out. They put them back in. Things get moved around 18 inches, like not just a few inches, but almost two feet away from the door. So um, just now I was pulling down sheets and coverings. And all three of the nut jobs who live around me in 88, 76, and 78 started getting violent on or around the area of the shared walls of my unit with theirs all at the same time while I was pulling down the coverings. They were all just violent, like uh, not even like, you know, dropping a few things or maybe making tapping noises on the walls. No, they were violently banging on the walls, like just aggressive, violent, angry, um, narcissistic rage kind of banging where if you take something away from someone who feels like they have the right to have it they become violent and agitated and aggressive this is what just happened just now the nut job directly below me in 76 the same psychopath who has come up here multiple times and tried to break my door down repeatedly pounding on it claiming that I was um I don't know they could hear me walking around but oh it's okay for them to come up to my door and literally try to smash it with metal rods and wooden sticks that person was making repeated violent banging noises directly beneath my bed about 20 minutes ago as I was pulling down the coverings that I have been using to cover parts of this unit that I suspect have surveillance devices on or around them. And when I was pulling down the same coverings in my bathroom, the psychopath who lives directly behind this wall in the bathroom of 78 started making violent, repeated, super loud slamming noises directly behind the wall of my toilet with her bathroom when I was pulling the coverings I had placed on the toilet, meaning I was taking something away that they thought should still be on or around the toilet and they were angry about it. At the same time, the nut job who lives in unit 88 directly behind that wall right there, the same disgusting creep who blasts pornographic movies throughout the entire floor in the middle of the day, like on a Tuesday at like 2 p.m., forcing everybody to listen to all kinds of filth and smut. He started making violent banging noises directly against that wall at the same time as the nut job in 76 was making banging noises. And at the same time as the psychopath in 78 was making banging noises while I was pulling away the tinfoil and other coverings I have been covering this area with over the last seven or eight days. That is a tip off right there. My theory has been proven correct. That's a somebody got in here over the last few days and put new surveillance devices on or around the coverings that I had used to cover up parts of my sink area and of my bathroom. They like the sink area for some reason. I don't know why they're like they always zero in on the sink area. And I always find things disturbed over in that corner after I've been gone and I come home. But um, they became violent all at the same time while I was pulling down the coverings I had been using to cover the cabinet, the sink area, and the toilet and shower stall areas of my bathroom. I know this is a long, you know, spiel, but this needs to be noted. I'm not sure if it's going to be posted or just saved for legal purposes later on, but um, I just had to purchase all brand new tinfoil, shower curtains, sheets, nails, tape, paper towels, um, and a new lock. Because all of those items that I bought just a week ago and spent, you know, 40, 45 bucks on, they have been compromised over the last seven or eight days by somebody breaking and entering into this unit, picking the lock of my door, damaging that lock. It's damaged. As I mentioned, I cannot put my key in there very easily and it gets stuck in there when I try to pull it out. Obviously, somebody has been damaging that lock. It wasn't like that when I bought it. And they've been getting in here and placing surveillance devices on the brand new coverings that I just bought a week ago. So once again, I just had to buy new ones. And while I was pulling down the old coverings, again, all three psychopaths who live in 78, 76 below, 88 next door, they all started getting violent, agitated, and repeatedly aggressive for the 25 minutes or so that I was pulling down all the coverings. They were just violent, smacking the wall, making banging noises, repeated thudding, banging, all at the same time. So that's a tip off. The fact that they all started doing this together while I was pulling down the sheet and coverings in my bathroom and my sink area. And then they stopped all at the same time. Not a coincidence, folks. Probability statistics will tell you that that is not a coincidence. It cannot possibly be due to chance. 
the chances of that happening just by some strange sheer coincidence are pretty much zero.